This is Minister Paula Watchman on the Wall. I'm seriously coming to you from Northern California on April 28, 2019, a Sunday, 7.27 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You have anything to add, Carol Baxson? I'm here. Good morning, everyone. And what are you cooking? I'm um, making me some bacon, but it's on hold until we get the message. Okay, thank you, my beautiful hood. Got a serious message here, and uh, somehow i got to get through all these things. I mean... So, Gail and I were out last night, or yesterday, I should say, afternoon, and, um, you know, when I came home, when I, I got an email from a Sister Yvette, and I want to thank Sister Yvette, she's so diligent in sending me links to articles, uh, I mean, and I just really thank her for that, thank you, Sister, she sent it via the email, and so I began to read this article about I'm sure you've heard by now about the the synagogue shooting in Poway, California. It's down in San Diego County, California. And how someone did intervene. Do you remember when do you remember when just a day or two ago I I, I woke up and I and I heard the children and Beltane and all that and I shared that on here. It was on a Bible study if I remember right. It was at the beginning. It's called a word and then the word. That has came to pass. But more amazingly, Pastor Larry prophesied over me. He said, and he prophesied over a lot of people. He said that in these end times, in these last days, the anointing to prophesy will increase. And I can tell that's happening right now. Surely we are in the end times. I'm telling you, surely we're in the end times. But the message is, is that the places of worship and quote unquote Christian Christians and, and Jewish people are under the biggest attack and persecution ever in history. And I, I want to I want to show you what the Holy Spirit has led me to reveal on this. So there was a shooting. We'll, we'll get right to that. So this this video was Watchman Warning, California. So I have a California playlist. Out of all of my playlists, a couple dozen playlists, only one of them is a city. Just a city, and it's San Diego County. That's the only one, and that's where the shooting has taken place. And so on that playlist here in San Diego, I was in December 2nd, 2014. The Holy Spirit led me to make this warning about schools, churches, and children, and then high earthquake watch. So is the earthquake on the horizon? We'll see. But let's focus on the schools, churches, and children in California warning from 2014. If you come down here, I mentioned, I mentioned to keep an eye, because I'm just going to follow this. It says, don't neglect the gift that in thee that was given thee by prophecy in the laying on of hands. And that was a that was the scripture I used in Matthew 24. But then I was saying that we should watch the UnitedNations.org Peace and Safety section. Watch it carefully from here on out. And I've been doing that, and we're going to we'll end the video with that. But I want to come down here to this one uh, comment down here by Katrina Short. Now, I, don't, I, I haven't talked to her in years. I don't know if she still is on YouTube or will see this or anything, but... She said that, you know, you were talking about fellowship and a school four years ago. And she said many churches have an attached school and to uh, to to stop and pray, etc. So here's the video on uh, so literally almost five years ago. This is what happened. There is an attached school to this, uh, a, a preschool to this Poway shooting. And... We we had we had asked for prayer for the person that can intervene, and he this there was a person that intervened on this. I mean, this is God is good, God is faithful, God is speaking to His people. So here's the video from five years ago. I want you to look at this area, okay? Notice San Diego, and then uh, to the left, notice Bonita, means pretty in Spanish. And this is the area I was warning. Now watch how precise God can be to save his people. I'm just going to play this for a little bit. 
So we're pulling out. So okay, so now watch. I want to help you. So this is Imperial Beach IB. I mentioned that. Now prepare to be amazed by God. Prepare to be amazed by God. I got it muted, but I've warded these areas. And then you come down here. Look. Poway. I mean, and this is extremely zoomed in. Poway. You see this right here? Poway. This is where the shooting occurred. This little, small, rural, urban uh, town is where exactly where the shooting happened. And so I have to give credence also to the fact that God did have someone intervene through our prayers and, and many uh, children's lives were saved. Matter of fact, in this article uh, from the shooting yesterday, two kids had ended up missing and then were later found and reunited with their parents. But there was a young kid that was struck. But the rabbi that was teaching this, uh, look at this, 11, 11. You can't believe that look right here. 11, 11. The rabbi that was teaching this, it was actually a second, it was actually a second uh, Passover, they call it. I think it's an Orthodox thing, uh, Jewish Orthodox, I'm not sure, but he, he, was, he was shot through the hand and lost his in index finger. And then there was a border patrol agent that was able to get a shot off at the vehicle there was there was a couple people that intervened in this, and uh, and many lives were saved because this guy walked in when it was fully packed on one of their busiest holidays they celebrate, and the guy had a rifle. They're not saying what type of rifle yet, but I'm pretty sure it it wasn't you know like an old hunting rifle. So here's the warning, and here's Poway. Can everybody see that? And this is the alert for San Diego playlist. Now, here is here is the uh, April 21st warning. Attacks on places of worship are not over to pray. So that was exactly seven uh, seven days ago, and and they have continued since then. So we need to give God some glory. People, lives were saved. Here's another video on 4:20:19. And I was talking about these these kids in this school in Avon Park Middle School that were arrested. Does everybody remember this video? These these two, I believe they were 13-year-old girls from middle school were arrested on charges of conspiracy to commit murder. And now notice this. Just remember this Avon, Avon Park. You ready? And I, now I want to go to a map. Here's Avon Park. So this is the area I was talking about, right? You're not going to believe this. Their, their mascot is the devil. You see that? Their mascot is the devil. Red Devils. APMS. Avon Park Middle School. And so, and I could go on how the Holy Spirit led me to find that, but it's not important for this video. Go just north of it. A few miles. Look what it is. Sebring, Florida. Does everybody remember what happened in Sebring, Florida? Another prophesied shootout. Oh, Jesus. Another prophesied shootout at the Sebring Trust Bank. That was prophesied and happened. Remember? Look up. Now, look up just northeast of this. East Old Bombing Range. East Old Bombing Range, and over here, Stryker Road. So, this prophecy isn't over with yet, and I have to be very clear in my warning that this is not over yet. There's an assault on places of worship. Let's continue to this. Is this the Sri Lanka one? So, I made this video, actually, on Resurrection Sunday. And the shooting yesterday was the second... Passover. Let, let me continue. Here's the article. I'm trying to go as quick as I can, folks. Here's the article. One dead, three injured in synagogue shooting in Poway. Deputies detain, detain suspect. So this occurred yesterday on, this, on the Sabbath during their second Passover 
shooting. And as you go through the article, it's pretty amazing. They were celebrating the last day of Passover, and it talks about how people intervened. So this young man, suspect, the alleged suspect is John T. Ernest, and you will not find a lot of information on this person. I think you can find the written manifesto he made, but you won't find a lot on this person because I looked. Okay, so he went to Mount McGill High School, and I'll put a link to this, and it and this uh, off-duty U.S. Border Patrol agent, he did intervene and open fire on the suspect. This is the bad we were told and led to pray for to save lives, and lives were saved. So could someone thank Jesus? Children's lives were saved this time because he warned in advance. Okay, so this guy, he went to Mount Miguel High School. Let's go to Google Earth. Here, here's where he went to high school. Look at here's Now, watch this map, please. Here's Bonita. Over here is that uh, Imperial Beach, IB. Here's Coronado. This is a naval. I was actually stationed at this naval base right here, so I'm familiar with the area. It was just 11-11 when I said that. So here's Bonita. Let's go back to the prophesied map. Bonita, and then just go back a little bit. Play this again. There's Bonita. Do you see that? So this is the prophesied area. This is a, what I want you to understand. This is a really small area. There's Bonita. See that? And then in comes Poway. There's Imperial Beach. It's just looking at it from a different angle. And then in comes Poway. I mean, this is amazing. So La Presa, La Mesa, Bonita. Now let's Poway. Boom. So now let's look at that's the prophesied area. Let's look at the fulfilled prophecy where children's lives were saved map. And that is here. So here's La Mesa, Bonita. So this is in La Presa, see that? So this is where it's being reported where this 19-year-old went to school, the shooter, right? The suspected shooter. This is where he went to school. We'll scroll down. Miguel High School. So this is where they're reporting he went to school. Now watch this. We're going to go north again, just like we did in Florida. Let's go north. Let's come up here. Or to go out. I have three place markers. There's La Mesa. Okay, now look. Here's Poway High School, and this is my concern. And then here's the shooting incident, the Shabbat of Poway. It is the exact area that was prophesied. I mean, to the exact little town. Now watch this. This is important. So we were talking about schools and fellowship. So here's where he went to school, which I'm kind of in prayer about. And then here's where their local high school is, Poway High School. We'll zoom in on this. And then here's where their congregation, where the shooting occurred. Right here, Shabbat Poway shooting, I've marked them. So literally, you could just take one road from the high school and go up one road and go right across. Does everybody see that? It appears to be South 5. Not Interstate 5, because that's over here to the west. And then, boom, Shabbat of Poway. So, that's where all this went down in this location. Now, let's go back to the article. And we go down. And I'm looking for Avon. This video might run a little long. Unfortunately, I'm looking for this Avon. It's in here. Let's continue. So the, the Holy Spirit, while I was looking at these two high schools, had me search Poway and the warning numbers God gave me in June 5th, 2012, 37. And I search 
Poway 37, all led by the Holy Spirit, and this was last night, and I've been working on this today. And the first thing that pops up is an update on the article I'm from uh, five hours ago, and it says published 37 minutes ago. So again, the 37 is a watchman warning number I was shown that when I start seeing that heavily everywhere, an incident is going to occur, and, and God is going to show that 37 is involved. Now watch this. Look what else pops up. Coming down here, Poway High School, 37% of their... Uh, 37% of their graduates exactly go on to college. Exactly 37. And it, it, right here, 37% enroll in two-year colleges. And you keep going down, and you keep going down. And it talks about Avon, Avondale. That's what it is. Let's see which one this one is. We'll see if it comes up, Avondale. But that's important because it's a confirmation of the Avon. Now... Let's go back to this. So that's the number 37 warning. Now in here they have this uh, code for schools in San Diego County. And it's called a CDS code. So here's Poway Christian. It's a Christian school. And the shooting, the, the shooting address of Sh Shabbat Poway also has an attached little uh, nursery school that teaches the kids Hebrew. I've investigated all this. So these schools have a code, and this code is 37. So we want to go up to uh, Poway High School, and I'm looking for indicators as this is fulfilled prophecy. And their, their CDS code for their school is 37. Starts with 37, and then it goes on with 373. And so, I want to continue. So here is that code. I looked up the CDS code 37373 exactly. And it, and it led me to this, uh, this Poway. And that's how this map started being formed. This is a continuation of the same warning of attacks on schools and places of worship. That's what, that's what the point I'm trying to make here. Just for, if you remember anything, remember that and pray on that. So now let's continue. How many children at Shabbat of Poway? The first thing that pops up again is that shooting. And it talks about the children and, and that there's a school. And then we'll continue on. Now I want to switch now because there's an ongoing warning out for schools and places of worship. And God has shown us that if we pray, lives can be spared. We can't stop the event, but through our prayer, we can save lives. This is so important because there's an all-out assault on the schools and the churches. And Christ prophesied it. And, and it said that God was grieved over the children. So please be with me in prayer. So I want to bring in the United Nations. So in this, in this original warning of the exact city, pay close attention. I warn people to keep an eye on this page of the United Nations, which is also the third part of the triangle. I'll just go ahead and flow. We'll make it a longer video. The United Nations that I've been showing in New York, New York, the United Nations headquarters on FDR Drive is actually also has a school in it of 1,600 kids. And it's part of the triangle God showed me. Trump, Mexico, consulate at the United Nations, and here I was five years ago warning about it, and then I found out that that exact building has a school of 1,600 kids. And I'm saying to watch this warning, and you know what page it is? Peace and security. Now fast forward, it's, it's May or June, uh, it's June now of this month that they're supposed to talk about a, the, a, a confirming a peace deal in Israel. But yet, this was five years ago. How can this be? The exact city, this exact page of peace and security. How can that be? Because of Jesus Christ speaking to us. If you're not saved, do so now. These prophecies are becoming more and more rapidly fulfilling, more and more accurate. 
and we're running out of time. And there's some people still mocking. I'm blown away. So this is the this is the page where to watch. Remember, I kept saying there's going to be announcement come out of the United Nations. There's going to be announcement come out of the United Nations. There's going to be announcement coming out of the United Nations. Turns out I've been warning about this for five years. So I look up this United Nations. Please pay attention. I know it's a long video. Please, I'm begging you. It, it takes me hours to research this stuff and minutes to present it. Could I please have your attention? Could you please like and share this warning message? So I looked up this United Nations Resolution 377, because those are the numbers God gave me to warn, right? And you know what it's about? It's about this uh, putting, putting people into custody. Let, let me continue and show you. So it talks about there's five, perma five permanent members of this council they're permanent members and let's look at who they are and see if they line up with the bible and yes they do china france an area i'm warning on russia matter of fact i've warned on all of these areas but there's five china france russia the the united kingdom and the united states president trump these are the five permanent members of the security council god told me and there there's the number 23 article 23 then i was led to look up the united nations security council resolution 666 because jesus has clearly informed me through the spirit of prophecy it's 428 2019 that the antichrist is going to rise and he's going to sit in in the temple of worship as christ in israel and the church cannot be here. Now, this is how close we are. Are you with me? And then he leads me to look up this 666, which is the number of the beast. And you know what it's about? Detention of nationals from foreign countries. Detaining people. Continuing. This is that school I was telling you about. United Nations International School. Private, private school. It is at the exact location of the triangle I've been showing in New York. And warning New York is another playlist. We have got to get it together. We have got to come together. We have got to stop bickering and fighting and put our prayers in unison and be in one accord because Jesus is at the door. See, here it is, FDR Drive. I, I have nothing to add. You my hunt. God bless you.